Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, thank you. Good afternoon, Good afternoon teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Awesome. I'm okay. Thank you. The rest? What about the rest? How are you guys? Okay. Oh, yes, we are okay. All right. Tired, tired, starving, boiling, but we are here. Excellent. That is a good. Well, thank you for joining. This is our class number number seven, right? Um, I'm going to display the presentation. Second. Well, first I'm going to pass the test right before I get it. Please, as soon as you listen to your names, tell me up and say present. Ana Emperatriz. Ana Maria. Ana Mercedes. Present. You, Andrea. Present. You, Carmen. Claudia Eugenia, Daniela, Edith Ortiz, Emma, Edma, Esmeralda, Gerson, Ever, present. You, it is, it is Present, teacher, tengo mal el micrófono, perdón. It's okay, it's okay, thank you. It is Rosario. Present. Okay. Jose Daniel. Marcela. María Julia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marvin. Present teacher. Ovidio. Thanks, Ovidio. Reina. Ricardo. Present. Thank you, Roger. Rosa. Sandra. Present. Thank you, Sara. Present. You, Silvia. Present. You, Sonia. Sonia Melara. Stephanie Parona. Present. Walter. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Present. And Jennifer. Jennifer, so here. Okay. Well, let me repeat again some people that I can see right now, right? I can see some people. Emperatriz. Daniela. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Well, guys, it's a pleasure to be with you again. Good afternoon. One more time. Hey, welcome to class number seven. I'm going to display the presentation and we're going to start, right? Thank you, Ana Emperatriz. Okay. That's the Saturday. Well, it, I just want to remind you about the platform. Please make sure that you complete a Section three is specific, right? During this week, right? Remember, do you have until this coming Thursday for this? Let me turn to it, right? You need to complete the three sections one, two, and three, and the midterm, right? 
Solo el recordatorio, completar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y ir completando. Esta semana tenemos el N completo, o sea, la semana, la sección 3, perdón. Sección 1, 2 y 3. Y el midterm, solamente eso. ¿Ok? Si hemos avanzado mucho más, excelente. Y bueno, lo, lo otro, quisiera saber si hay dudas, preguntas, respecto a algún ejercicio, etc. Gracias, Rosa. I can see Rosa Wells is here. A oh, Ricardo. Gracias, Ricardo. I can see, I can see Jose. Good afternoon, guys. ¿Qué más se nos ha quedado en negro? Hola, Jose. Good afternoon. Alguien sabe si me escucha, please. Bueno. Tenemos el espacio ahorita para saber si hay preguntas, alguna duda, algún comentario, etc. ¿Todo muy bien? Yo tengo una, ahorita la voy a mandar al grupo. Mm, ok. ¿Alguien más mientras estaremos aquí? Bien. La envié al grupo, eh, teacher. Fíjese de que ahí están las posibles respuestas que yo le he puesto. Se las ponga como se las ponga. ¿Me sale mal? ¿O es que en realidad yo lo estoy interpretando mal la oración? Eh, well, actually, that is, a, that is a sentence, right? That is a sentence. It's not a question. Eh, the answer is, like, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. This is the answer. Vaya, si le he puesto, si puede ver en las imágenes, he puesto dos respuestas, hasta la quise hacer pregunta para ver si me salía bien, pero no. Es que solamente... Siempre me da error. No bueno, solo, solo me parece una respuesta. Luego se ve una respuesta. Quiero ver. ¿Qué ejercicio es? Es el 1, 2.2. Es en el 3, no, en el 3 voy yo. Hay que asegurarse si ese es un apóstrofe o una tilde. Sí, exacto. Eso, eso es la posible situación, la verdad. Hay que tener cuidado. Como lo hemos estado mencionando, hay que tener cuidado con algunas situaciones. Pero es que lo copié y lo pegué de ahí, de la plataforma. O sea, ni siquiera lo he digitado yo. No he puesto el apóstrofe yo, sino que lo copié de ahí porque no podía sacar el apóstrofe en ese momento. Entonces lo he copiado, pero siempre me da error. No sé por qué. Simplemente haya dado un espacio de más. Simplemente. Sí, igual, revisé los espacios, lo, bor lo borré, lo volví a digitar, iba revisando espacios y nada. Le di reiniciar como usted nos enseñó ayer y nada. Creo que se refiere al parque. Creo que es el meter, ¿verdad? Que me está mencionando porque estoy revisando la sección 3 y no. No encuentro el ejercicio. Creo que es el mito que está haciendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, ok. Pensé que la sección 3, como es la sección 3. Ya le digo cuál es, permítame. Good afternoon, Jennifer. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Good 
demasiado bonito ahorita, además de Janet. Yo, teacher, le estoy pasando la compu, pero ya voy a oh. cerrar el, el teléfono. Es que es que no No encuentro ese ejercicio que, que se menciona. A ver, más acá atrás. No es el meter. Tiene que ser acá en la sección 2. Si no me equivoco. Espérame, le Es que no dice qué sección es. Solo yo me acuerdo que estaba en la 3. De hecho, ya voy por 4 puntos, no sé qué dice, pero dice un, un crowd, algo así. ¿Quién sabe qué sección es? Es que es creo de, que es la, la creo que es la creo que es la 28. 28 o 29, 29. Oh. Okay. Veamos. No tampoco. Es que pasé después de la 3.13, pasé como 3 más y ahí es que está. Después de la 3.13. 3.13. Pues, después de esa, di clic tres veces ah. más y ahí sale. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Present. Thank you. ¿Qué más se acabó de la madre de Roger? Oh, Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Good afternoon. Carson, good afternoon. Que veamos porque no encuentro ese ejercicio. Ah, por aquí está. Ok, ya. Yeah. Unscramble the sentences. It says, and some of the sentences write each, each sentence in the correct order. Yeah, that is, that is, that is a way. That is a way. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Alguna cosita, actualice nuevamente el, el, la página e, e intente, porque es la respuesta. No sé qué puede verse la respuesta. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Eh, acá, acá en, este, en estos ejercicios eh, está la opción, ¿verdad? De que puede usted agregar el punto, tal vez el punto, si no se lo ha agregado, agregar el punto, pero también tendría que agarrárselo a su punto al final. Y le agregué un punto y se lo quité porque igual siempre me da error. Pero voy entonces a actualizarlo. Sí, actualice. Actualice mejor. Y me avisa si le sale correcto. Ok. Eh, we're going to start with the, with the class, right? Today is uh, Wednesday, March 23rd. This is class number seven. Today, is, this is the topic, Job Vocabulary in Activities. Job Vocabulary in Activities. Ok. Si hay más preguntas, ¿verdad? Con, con respecto a la plataforma, háganmelo saber, algún ejercicio ¿verdad? para poder discutirlo acá. Sí, pena. Ok, let's start. Job vocabulary and activities. Let me introduce the vocabulary for today. Well, here we have, as you can see, jobs, right? We have jobs. And we can see those jobs in the pictures, right? In the pictures. Okay, we have different jobs, as you can see, right? So here in the first picture, right, we have this person, this woman, and this other one, right? 
three different jobs. Four and five. Six and seven. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. All right, so those are jobs. Let me start, you know, by introducing them, right? These are the jobs. Listen, listen first. Cashier. Cashier. Cook or chef. Cook or chef. Doctor. Doctor. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Judge. Judge. Lawyer. Lawyer. Musician. Musician. Norse. Norse. Pilot. Pilot. Police officer. Police officer. Receptionist. Receptionist. Salesperson. Salesperson. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Singer. Singer. Waiter. Waiter. And waitress. Waitress. Okay. That is the order in this list, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Okay. And as you can see, we have numbers and right? the pictures. Numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Right. What we have to do, we need to match, we need to match the words, so the jobs, with the pictures. Right. With the pictures. For example, number one is letter K. Letter K. So. That one is it's resectionist, resectionist. So the first one is resectionist, resectionist. Number two, what, what is number two? What do you think? Doctor. 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 Okay, doctor. Very good, doctor. Number three. Nurse. Nurse. Nurse, Nurse. exactly. Those are the first three, right? Listen, receptionist, doctor, nurse, nurse, okay? Again, receptionist, receptionist, doctor, doctor, nurse, nurse. Yes, okay. Number four, pilot, pilot. Exactly, oh. that's a pilot. 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 Five. Flight Number five. Yeah, she is a flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Exactly. Okay. Number six. This is number six. Musician. Yeah. That is a musician. Yes, that is a musician. Yeah. That is a musician. 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 Yeah. That's number six. Number seven. Bingo. Singer. Singer. Okay. Singer. 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 Exactly. Singer. Okay, one more time. Number four, listen, pilot. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Yeah. Six, musician. 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 
Seven singer. 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 Number eight. Judge. Judge. So that is the judge. Judge. Exactly. Judge. Number nine. Lawyer. I'm sorry? Lawyer. Lawyer. Hold. Police officer. officer. Yeah. So number nine. Oh yeah. Oh, officer. Officer. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Officer. Police officer. Officer. Yeah. Number nine is a police officer. Nine. Police officer. Yes. Repeat, please. Uh, number eight. Judge. 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 Exactly. Number nine is a police officer. Police officer. Police officer. Yes. Number ten. Lawyer. Liar. That is a lawyer. Yeah. Liar. 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 Yes. Liar. Exactly. Eleven. Chef. 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 Chef or cook? You can say cook or you can say or chef. Cook. It's the same. Cook. Cook chef or, or chef? Or cook. Cook, cook or chef. chef? Chef or cook? Cook or chef? Uh, number 12. Is it is a, a man, right? Waiter. 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 Uh, waiter. That, is, that is for men. That is for men. Waiter. And we say waiter. waitress for women. Waitress. Waiter. Waitress. Waiter. Waiter for men. Waiter. Waiter for men. Waiter. Waitress. And waitress. Waitress is for, for women. Waitress. Waiter. Waitress. Waitress. Yeah. 14. 14. This is number 14. Tell person. Tell person. Listen. 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 Listen first. Listen first. Sales person. Sales person. Sales person. No sales. No sales. Sales person. Sales person. Sales person. Sales person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number fifteen. Cashier. 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 Yeah. This is the cashier. 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 Uh, and the last one is security guard. 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 Okay, very good. Repeat, please. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Guard. Security guard. Security guard. Yeah. Exactly, that is that is the way. Okay, listen again. Listen and repeat. Cashier. 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 Cook or chef? Cook. 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 Chef. 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 Cook. Cook. Chef. Doctor. Doctor. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Judge. Judge. Receptionist. 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 Salesperson. 
Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Finger. Finger. Waiter. 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 Have it been jobs as you can see. In, of course, they have right different workplaces, right? They go to different places, okay? I will show you now on the next slide the places, right? Some specific places for these people, for these specific people. Okay. Any questions first about the vocabulary? Yes, I have uh, two questions. Tell me. Okay, what is the difference between police, police officer, and cop as a robot cop? Oh, it, it's the same. It's the same. That is another way to say police officer, cop. Yeah, you can say police officer or even you can say policeman. Policeman. It's the same. And, and police? Police, but that is in general. Police, that is the name. Police. Okay. Like in a suburb, right? I, policia. I hear in the in the movies. I hear the phrase is a call to police. Call to police. Nine one one. Yeah, exactly. So that is in general, right? Like they call the call center and they start, you know, asking for some. I mean, they have an emergency, for example. Yeah, call the police. Call the police. Okay. It's like in, 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 in Spanish, right? Llamada policía. <laughs> that is the way, right? Yeah. Teacher, the second question. Give me a second, give me a second, Ricardo, yes. Uh, Walter, the second question. Yeah. What is the difference between a lawyer and attorney? In a? Attorney. Oh, okay. Give me a second. I just want to... Uh, Deme un segundito, solo quiero conectar mi computadora, que vi que tuve un, ap un apagón, no voy a hacer que... Yes, in looks. Okay. Very good. You say a lawyer and attorney, right? Attorney and lawyer. But they are the same, my friend. Attorney and lawyer, you can say attorney or lawyer. That is another way to say lawyer, but attorney. Okay. Yeah. O sea, cop, police officer, and policeman is un agente. Exactly. Un agente. It's, it's a person. The police, it's a person. It's police is the, the cuerpo de policía, la policía en general. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Let me write. Excellent. Thank you for asking. Eh, Ricardo, I guess you have a question, right? Sorry. No, yo solo quería agregar que eh, yo tengo un amigo que vive en Estados Unidos y dicen de que como que el cop lo ocupan así como más la gente que, que es más así como urbana, ¿verdad? Algo así como que como los raperos, cosas así. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can say that that, that cop, cop is informal, right? Cop is informal, exactly. And police officer is the formal way, right? Formal way. Uno es informal y el otro es formal, ¿verdad? Como en nuestro país, pero también se le, se le dice diferentes nombres, ¿verdad? Los agentes de policía. ¿verdad? Pero el nombre formal es police officer. Okay, somebody else, questions? Okay, let's practice with the places. When I say the places, I'm referring to the workplaces. Workplaces, All right? Workplaces, okay? We already uh, established or stated, right, the jobs, jobs. Now let's talk about the places, right? For example, here we have the places. 
right? In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, for example. You know, those are the most, let's say the most common, right? The most common uh, places, or places. Of course, we have more, right? We have more, for example, you can say uh, in a restaurant, a restaurant, You can say in a Supreme Court, maybe, if you talk about the lawyer and the judge, Supreme Court. Um, what else? Let me see. Mm, maybe in a, in a clothing store, maybe if it is a cashier or a salesperson, clothing store, etc. We have different workplaces, as you can see, hospital, Hotel, office, store, clothing store, in a restaurant, in a Supreme Court, etc. Okay. And we can say, right, with the workplaces, these are workplaces. I can say, for example, a doctor works in a hospital, right? This is the workplace. This is the place, right? Where the doctor or doctors work, right? A doctor works in a hospital. Can you try? Can you give me more examples? A uh, cashier works what? A cashier works? What do you think? We have hospital, office, a store, or hotel? A store. A store. Exactly. A cashier works in a store. Right, this is the workplace, this is the place, okay? A doctor works in a hospital. A cashier works in a store, right? What else? Give me another example. Give me other examples, other examples. The school. The school, who? Who? Yeah, yeah that is another workplace, very good. The teacher. Uh, it's cool. Okay. It says cool. Nice school. Okay, a teacher, a teacher works. A teacher a school. works as at school. Yes. Yes. A teacher works at school, right? Very good. That's another word, please. And that is another job, teacher, right? Another one, what about let's say a lawyer? A lawyer works. In the court. I'm sorry? In, office. in, in court? an office or as I said, right? In, in a court. For a court, yeah. A lawyer works. Oops, I forgot the, the verb. A lawyer works in an office or a court. Yes. Another example? What about a, a pilot? A pilot works? Airport. Exactly. A pilot airport. works airport. Airport. In an airport. 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 Okay. A pilot works in an airport. In an airport. Airport. Yeah. Airport. Very good. Okay. That is the way we express, you know, the, the places, the workplaces, right? In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, in a restaurant. Right? It, for example, another job. What about a chef? Restaurant. Works in a restaurant. In a restaurant. Yes, it can be in a hotel, right? It's okay, you know, people, some chefs, they work right in a, a hotel. hotel. Exactly. Yeah. A chef works in a restaurant or a hotel. Very good. It depends. It depends. Okay, so these are the workplaces. Workplaces.
and we make that association, right? Job and workplace. Job and workplace. Doctor, hospital. A teacher, school. Cashier, store. Lawyer, office or court, right? It depends. Pilot, airport. Chef, restaurant or it can be hotel, right? It depends. All right. Any questions over here? Questions? No? Everything okay? Everything okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to express activities, activities that these people do, right? In their jobs. Let's move on. Let's continue with the same image, the same picture. And we have the activities. What activities? For example, first, where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Next, seats all day. Seats all day. Next, talks to people. Talks to people. Next, works hard. Works hard. Next, stands all day. Stands all day. X handles money, handles money, works at night, works at night, and writes tickets, writes tickets. Those are activities that people develop right in the workplaces. For example, let's go with activities now. Activities, talking about jobs, right? Jobs. Well, let's say job activities. Job activities. Okay, I can say, right? A pilot wears a uniform, right? A pilot wears a uniform. So now this is an activity, right? A pilot wears a uniform, right? A uniform. We can say a doctor works hard, right? Doctor works hard. That is an activity. Okay. Now, an example can be flight, flight attendant. It stands all day, right? You know that they are in the in the plane and they are, you know, offering services, right? So they are stand, they are standing, sorry, all the time. By attendant it stands all day, right? So this is activity. Okay, and we can continue. We can continue expressing more, 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 more ideas, right? You know, we can have different activities, different activities for different people, right? Another example can be a cashier, a cashier handles money, right? Because that is a, their job, right? Cashiers need to a deal, right, with money. They receive money and they give money, right? When they give changes, they give changes. You're receiving dinero y entrega, ¿verdad? Porque dan el cambio. The sheer handles money. These are job activities. Any questions? Teacher, y en fly attender, que no entiendo qué es lo que le puso. Ajá, es. Stands all day means that they, they don't sit down. They don't sit down. So they stay like that. I mean, they are walking, moving, so they don't stand. I mean, they don't sit down, sorry. They don't sit down. So that is the meaning. A flight attendant stands all day, right, in the plane. In the plane, they are walking, they are moving, they are offering things to, you know, a, in this case, the people, right, in the plane. 
So flight attendant stands all day. They never sit down. They never sit down. Um, be, be lot. A pilot. A pilot. Where's a uniform? A uniform, right? So I have my, my uniform. For example, we, when we, when, you know, children go to school, right? Go, ch children wear uniforms, right? So that, that is an identification, right? Uniform. So in the picture, Rosa, we can see that the pilot is, just, is wearing a, a, a uniform. This is the uniform. So they, they use a cap, they use a suit, a, a tie. That is the uniform. Okay. Yes. Okay, listen again the activities. Listen and repeat. Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? A uniform? Sit all day. Sit, Sit all day. Sit all day. Sit all day. Talk to people. Talk to people. Works hard. Works hard. Stands all day. Stands all day. Handles money. Handles money. Works at night. Works at night. Writes tickets. Writes tickets. Yes. You know that that is that is the opposite with, with a pilot, right? We say the flight attendant stands all day. We know that they, a pilot, a pilot sits down all day, right? Because they are monitoring the, the plane, right? They are monitoring the plane, so they are sitting down, right? They sit down. So a pilot sits sits down all day. Sit down all day. Very good. Let me give you more examples, but I would like to know if you answer questions over here. Preguntas acá? No, teacher. No. Okay. Somebody else? No? Everything okay? Everything clear? Clear, teacher. Yeah. All is clear. Thank you. Okay, now let me give you some examples. Right, we have a doctor, and we say, "Listen, a doctor works in a hospital. That is a workplace." Then the activity, a doctor works hard. That is activity, right? We can vary. We can vary all you know the activities. You can say, for example, a doctor. A doctor works at night, right? Doctor works night. So it depends. If you want to change the activity, go do it. A doctor works at night, or you can say a doctor works hard, right? That is activity. The, the workplace and then the activity. The workplace and then the activity, right? A doctor works in a hospital, and a doctor works hard, or a doctor works at night. Okay. Another example. We have a cashier, right? This is a cashier. A cashier works in a store, right? A cashier works in a store. And we can say a cashier handles money, right? Because they receive money and they give you know money too, right? And they give changes. A cashier works in a store. And a cashier activity, a cashier handles money. That is the way, okay? This is the way we express, right? The workplace and activity. Workplace, activity. Workplace, activity. With those jobs, with those jobs. Doctor, nurse, waiter, waitress, cashier, judge, buyer, salesperson, etc. okay? Any questions?
Everything okay? Is the topic clear? Todo bien? Todo claro? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. What do you have to do now? Now is your turn. I need you to look at the example, Sean. And, uh, and write examples, please. Write examples using the vocabulary given. Okay. This is another example. We have a, what is, what is this? I mean, who's this? Waitress. Waitress. A waitress, exactly. So we, waitress. we can say a waitress works in a restaurant. That is a word place. And we can say a waitress serves food for meals. A waitress serves food. That is the activity, right? That is activity. What I want to do, I need you to follow this example in the previous ones, this ones, and this one. And in your notebooks, I need you to write five examples, five similar examples. You need to select five jobs, five jobs, right? Select five jobs from these ones and do the same, right? A cashier, sorry, a waitress works in a restaurant, workplace, and a cash in a work, sorry, a waitress serves food activity, okay? Workplace activity, workplace activity, workplace activity. That's what you have to do. Okay. Select five, five jobs and do the same. Do the same. You can follow these examples or this one. First, you have to mention the workplace and then the activity, right? That's what you have to do, okay? I will give you some time. Let's start working, please. In your notebooks. If you finish, please raise your hands. Raise your hands when you finish. No se nos olvide levantar nuestra mano cuando hemos terminado, please. If you have some questions, let me know. If you have some questions, let me know. Oh, it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. You said that you have an issue with the camera. I don't have any problems with the camera. I'm going to show you. We're going to have to revise it. Don't worry. But we can use it. Yes. No entendí qué dijo que íbamos a hacer. Okay. Poner la imagen donde están las. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay. La imagen. Yes. Yes. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. What I want to do, I need you to look at the example. The example shown. And please, in your notebooks, write examples. Write similar examples using the vocabulary given. You need to select. Five jobs, five jobs, and with those five jobs, you have to do the same. You have to express the workplace and the activity, right? For example, if you select the waitress, okay, you say a waitress works in a restaurant. That is the workplace the activity. A waitress serves, serves food, right? That is one. Number two, you select, for example, a a cashier, right? A cashier works in a store or place. Activity, a cashier handles money. That's number two, right? Number three, another one, four and five. You have to select five jobs and do the uh, same. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So here we have the jobs. Esa es la que me pidieron que pusiera, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Vamos a una captura, please. Para irme al ejemplo y lo sigamos. If you want to select different jobs, it's okay. Si queremos seleccionar o tenemos otros, por ahí otras profesiones, hagámoslo. Pueden utilizar. De preferencia las tomen de acá. Ok. So now the examples, right? These are the examples if we want to get a photo, take a screenshot too. These are the examples that you can follow. These are the examples that you can follow. And with that, you can follow the examples. Okay, let's go.
and this is the last one, right? And the structures, right? By the way, there is some mistake here in a second. Go ahead, continue working. If you have some questions, please let me know, let me know. If you haven't, if you haven't understood the activity, tell me to please, tell me to. Si no hemos comprendido la actividad, vamos a saber. Teacher. Yeah. Ah, como quiero poner, eh, como el usar la voz, pero I don't know. Usar la voz. Ah, ajá, por ejemplo, quiero poner algo así como. Uh, pero no sé si es correcto, Susa, your voice. Sus, your voice. Usar la voz, I don't know. Sé. The judge, el juez. No, usar la voz. Por ejemplo, el que canta, que usa ah. su voz, su, su, su cuerda, vocales, I don't know. Yeah, you can say. You can say a singer a uses. Is yes, or, or is voice? correct. Is correct. Your voices. Yeah, give me, give me a second. I'm going to. I'm, I'm telling you. A singer uses his or her voice to sing. Yeah, you can okay. say it. It's correct. Thank you. You're welcome. A singer uses his or her voice to sing. I say his or, or her because we have a man or a woman, right? It depends. Decimos his or her porque puede ser una una mujer o un hombre. A singer uses his or her voice to sing. Edma? Okay, teacher. Oh, uh, you finish. Uh, Cuánta dijo, teacher? Five, five. <laughs> five. Yo tengo cuatro. It's okay. Yo le digo. Yeah. Um, yeah. A nurse works in a hospital, the place. Uh, a nurse works is stressful or gay, the activity. A um, musician work in the studio, no sé cómo se escribe. In the studio, yeah, in the studio. A um, musician, así se dice, musician. Musician. A musician, musician work a uh, song or day. The, a musician, sorry? Song, de cantar o... Oh. Song or day. And a salesperson work in the store. A salesperson work sells all day. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. A musician sings. A musician. A musician sings all day. Emma. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Very good. You're welcome. Uh, Eden Rosario. No sé si tienen preguntas con respecto a la, la idea. Me preguntaba. No, teacher, it's okay. Um, okay. Lo, I don't know. Um, no sabía cómo armar el sentido para lo que ella hacía, pero ya eso sí. Gracias, me ayuda. Excellent. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Okay, well, if I have somebody else ready, let me know, right? With the, with the jobs, the workplaces, and the activities. We have listened to Edna. Teacher. Yeah, what are you? ¿Cómo se dice estación de policía? Police station. Well, police station. Police station. Police station. Police station. Thank you. You're welcome. Police station. Walter, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, let's go, Walter. We'll listen to you. Wait a minute. Oh, I need my helpers. It's okay. 
No, I'll sue you. Okay. A cook works ha hard all day. A cook works in a restaurant. A security guard works standing all day. A security guard works in a mall. A salesman or a salesperson works in a big store. A salesperson works in a store or talk to many people all day. Yeah. A musician works at night. A musician play music. It's absolutely very good. That's all. Excellent, Walter. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, do I have somebody else? If you have some questions, please let me know. Ask me, ask me your questions. Emma? Teacher, for example, a teacher wore at a school, a school, a teacher wore show or they uh, para decir enseñe. Oh, okay, yeah. You say a teacher, oops, a teacher, a teacher teaches all day. A teacher teaches all day. Así. Yes, that is that is the way. This is the the the, the action teach teach. Okay. Okay. Yes. Entonces, it sounds, así sería. It, exactly. It it sounds repetitive, right? Repetitive. Teacher teaches, but that is the way. That is a way. Okay. Okay. Uh, or maybe you can say if people don't want to to sound like repetitive, a professor, right? Teaches all day. It's okay. A teacher teaches all day. Okay. Yes. A couple is not very repetitive, pero no, no hay ningún problema. ¿verdad? Como en español, verdad? Que a veces decimos, por ejemplo, hay cosas que no, no se pueden decir, verdad? Eh, jugar, aunque verdad se dice bastante, pero no es tan, like, suena tan, tan bien que digamos, ¿no? jugar, no, juegos, correcto. jugar juegos, por ejemplo, sí. cosas así, ¿verdad? Entonces acá en inglés, sí. a teacher teaches all day, it's okay. La monotonía, ¿verdad? Exacto. Pleonasmo. Exacto, pleonasmo. Pleonasmo. Y en inglés se suele tener eso, ¿verdad? Pero no, no está mal decirlo, ¿verdad? No suena mal. Teacher teaches. Okay, somebody else? Questions, by the way, questions, no? Is the topic clear? It is all clear. Good. Okay, listen up. Listen up. If we have some minutes, right? A couple of minutes. It's almost time, right? I will ask I will ask you guys, please send your examples through WhatsApp. Okay, I know that you're still working. Go on. Go on. If you're working, and as soon as you complete, please, I will ask you to send us your examples through WhatsApp, okay? Uh, you know, because of the time, it will be difficult to listen to everybody, right? But, you know, I want to, to listen to you uh, in that way, right? You can send us your examples through WhatsApp. If you want to send audios, go ahead, do it, do it, right? Vamos a hacer lo siguiente para los que estemos pendientes, ¿verdad? Recuerden que va a ser bien difícil escucharlos a todos por tiempo. Pero, pero, podemos hacerlo de otra forma, ¿verdad? Así es que si pueden compartir sus ejemplos por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Por favor, los que hagan falta o todos, compartamos. Si así damos ideas a los demás, 
y practicamos al mismo tiempo. Si quieren enviar audios igual, envíenlos. Eh, ya sea por el grupo, en el grupo, perdón, o de forma personal. Excelente. Teacher, yo le tengo cuatro, pero en esta tengo dudas. No sé si estará bien. Dame. Ok. I wait to work in the party. I wait to serve food. Eh, I don't know y si está bien en decir que está trabajando en la fiesta el, el waiter o only uh, in the restaurant. No, 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 exactly. A waiter works. A waiter works in the party. In parties, you can say in general, in parties. Okay. And a waiter okay. serves food, exactly. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, a chef work in the restaurant. Are a chef cook all day for the event? Yes. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Uh, a nurse works in this hospital. Uh, a nurse works all night. Yes. Good. Okay. A singer work in the restaurant. Or a singer sing a concert with the both. What? A singer, a singer sing a concert with his bows. Oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. You can say a singer sings. Yeah. Sings uh -huh. in what, let's say. A concert with. In a concert, in a concert. In a concert. With his bows. You say with, voice. with his voice, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you want, you know, you can omit his voice. It's okay if you say just a singer sings in a concert. But if you want to keep it, it's okay. You can keep it with his voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold well on. It is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, guys, it's time. Por favor, si compartamos nuestros ejemplos. Eh, por medio de WhatsApp, al grupo, si desean hacerlo de forma personal, perfecto. Para poder, ¿verdad?, estar practicando, revisar al mismo tiempo, etc. ¿okay? Eh, cualquier cosita, estamos ahí a la orden. No olviden, por favor, ese día, ¿verdad?, es nuestra, eh, por decirlo así, ¿verdad?, penúltima clase de la semana 2, porque mañana sería la, 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 la semana 2. Por cierto, hoy estamos miércoles, ¿verdad? O sea, si se me escapaba. Voy a explicar rapidito, un par de minutitos más, por favor. El, el Mitra, se me olvidó explicarlo. Recuerden que un día antes se explica el Mitra. Entonces, mañana, mañana es el día del Mitra. Entonces, rapidito, solo ese es el Mitra. Recuerden que ustedes lo encuentran en la sección 3. Y acá, sección 3, hace el Mitra. 16 preguntas, ¿verdad? De esa forma lo vamos a encontrar. Entonces, ustedes ingresan o le dan siguiente después de la sección 3, ¿verdad? Y les va a aparecer. El, el Bitron contiene seis partes. ¿verdad? La primera es el listening. La segunda es complete the conversation. La tercera es as complete sentences. La cuarta es select the correct words. Number five is select questions to complete the conversations. La última, complete the conversations. Estas son las seis secciones. Hay que ir viendo sección tras sección y leyendo las instrucciones, please. Si hay imágenes, según las instrucciones, ¿verdad? Si hay imágenes, hay, aud hay audios, eh, readings, ¿verdad? Eh, lecturas, ¿verdad? Hay que completarlo con base en eso. Por ejemplo, la primera parte de listening, y hay que completar con base en la, en la conversación, ¿verdad? O la conversación o la conversación. De depende de del ejercicio, y luego solo responder y darle enviar. Hay que verificar ¿verdad? cada uno de esos detalles, eh, que se bien escrita la palabra, que no demos doble paso, por ejemplo, que veamos, revisemos el spelling, y ¿verdad? escribir lo que se nos pide, solamente eso, ¿ok? Para completar. Ahora bien, si nos equivocamos en una parte, en una sección, ¿verdad?, tenemos, por ejemplo, de cinco, tenemos cuatro buenas, pero solo nos vemos una mala. Podemos volver a intentar. Podemos volver a intentar hacer los intentos necesarios. No se preocupen, acá no, no hay restricción. Ustedes pueden repetir. Un ejercicio a modo de completar, ¿verdad? 
de la mejor manera, ¿ok? Intentemos. Cualquier cosita estamos ahí a la orden, ¿verdad? Y eso sería básicamente la, el mitra. Son seis sesiones y hay que leer las instrucciones, ¿verdad? Eso es lo importante. Es que eso lo haríamos mañana. Si vamos a, a, hemos avanzado y ya llegamos al meter y lo queremos hacer, vamos. Hagámoslo. Lo pueden completar ya. ¿Ok? Así es que eso sería básicamente lo último para completar la sección 3. Sección 3 y el meter. Con eso completaríamos esta semana. Mañana es el último día, ¿verdad? Según la semana 2. Y de ahí, ¿verdad? El viernes descansamos. Descansan y al mismo tiempo avanzan, ¿verdad? Si ahí tienen algo pendiente, el fin de semana igual. Y de ahí a ser el lunes, ¿verdad? Es que mañana sería, ¿verdad? A la misma hora de 1 a 2. Eh, ¿Any questions? No, teacher. No questions. Excellent. Ok, guys. Eh, we're going to start right here because it's time. Thank you so much for your time, participation, and dedication in every class. I will see you tomorrow. Please have a happy day. Enjoy it. Take care and blessings to you and your families. Goodbye. Thank you for everything. Goodbye, Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. It's a pleasure. Bye, Goodbye. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.